sweep command is a more sophisticated version of the extrude command. To create a sweep, you need a profile, and the profile is swept along the path. I'm going to show you how to do a uh, how to sweep a handrail for a staircase. You can go on the internet and uh, search for handrail profiles and find all kinds of them. I then uh, brought one into BricsCAD, traced over it, and then using a straight line as the path. To sweep a profile, you can go into the solid tab of the ribbon and then click sweep or else type sweep at the command prompt, which I'm doing here. Asks me to select uh, profile entities. Notice it's plural, which means you could select more than one. This time around, we'll just pick one. Press enter to continue, and then it asks for the sweep path, and that's the path along which the profile will be swept. I've got the straight line here, so I click, and immediately it's generated. Now to get a look at it, I'm going to uh, change the viewpoint and uh, also change the visual style so we can see we have this handrail profile now nicely constructed. Sweeps can also be done along a 3D entity. So here I've drawn a helix specifying the number of rotations as 0.5. So you get a, just a bit of a curl there. And then the profile is this little triangle I drew with as a polyline. So let's uh, start the sweep command, select the profile, press enter, path is the helix, and uh, there we go. Let me switch to modeling mode so that we can better see what it looks like. As I've noted before, you can sweep more than one object at a time. So here I've drawn also a circle. So let's start the sweep command. Select one profile, select the second profile, press enter, and there's the path. So you can see that they were both drawn along there. Let's rotate it around and get a view of how beautiful that looks. Now you notice that the circle and the triangle disappeared during the sweep command. You can keep them in place through the Dell option. So let's undo the sweep. Enter the del obj variable, del obj, and set the value to zero. And now repeat the sweep command. Take those two objects, the path, and there's the source objects are retained. The sweep command has a number of options, and I'm going to now show you how they look when you use them. So enter and sweep. The first one is mode and that switches between drawing the swept object as a solid or as a surface. Let's see what it looks like when I specify surface. I type SU for surface, select the profile, the path, and now you can see that the swept entity is hollow. In fact, in there you can see the path running through the middle of it. So it has no end caps and it's hollow on the inside. Let's try another one. Repeat the sweep command. Try the twist option. You can imagine what it will do. So it asks for a twist angle, and I'm going to put in 90. And then over here is the path. And you can see that the profile has twisted 90 degrees. It ends up at right angles to the start point. Let's undo this to try another option. Enter the sweep command. Select the profile. And this time, alignment. So this one's a bit trickier. It's going to say sweep entity perpendicular to the path before sweep. The default is yes. Let's see what it looks like when it's no. So let's choose it. And so you can see as the profile runs along the path, it no longer adjusts to be perpendicular to the path. It ends up kind of upside down. Final option is base point, And that lets you offset the sweep from the path. So type B specify a point. I'll pick a point over here and now I'll select the path and let's do a zoom extends to see where it ended up way over there. The reason for the larger sweep is because the distance from your pick point, the base point, to the actual start of the path determines the new radius of the sweep. Mm -hmm.